Kaiser. Al-Qaeda speaks out. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Skinner. A new Al-Qaeda audio tape has surfaced. It is said to be from the group's number two, Ayman al-Zawahiri. The tape is being broadcast on the Arabic TV station Al Jazeera. The speaker on the tape, who does sound like al-Zawahiri, but it's not been confirmed yet, he calls Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf a traitor and is urging the overthrow of his government. A Pakistani security chief says al-Zawahiri and other al-Qaeda suspects probably eluded capture by escaping through a series of mountain tunnels. But this audio tape denies that al-Zawahiri was among the fighters the Pakistani military had trapped in that mountain fortress near the Afghan border. In a 10-day offensive, Pakistani forces have now killed more than 50 terrorist suspects and captured more than 160 others. The Pentagon may be planning to cut American forces in Europe and Asia. The Washington Post is reporting that as many as 71,000 troops based in Germany and 15,000 in Asia could be withdrawn as part of a post-Cold War realignment. The paper says a Pentagon draft plan calls for smaller bases to be set up in Romania and, Romania and possibly Bulgaria, and training facilities also to be set up in Poland and Australia. Well, finally, a California man is selling a piece of Cold War history on eBay. Get this, it's a nuclear missile silo located in a small community in Adams County, Washington. Mm. The missiles are gone, thankfully, but the silo's owner says it could be used for a wine cellar or even... How about an underground gymnasium? The asking price is just under $4 million. Ooh, and those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Time now to send you back to Shep. It's so chill in the Ville it today. It is. Look okay, so that's me. What happened to my Not only Vanity Fair, People oh Magazine, The goodness. Tonight Show with Jay Leno. I'm watching Entertainment Tonight Here on we go. Evo last night. And they say they're going to feature the bad boy of TV news. Oh, Take a look. Is that what they said? That's what they said. What is that? Oh, yeah. well, that's nice. The Mississippi native house. lives alone in a sparse but sophisticated New York sparse apartment where his plasma screen TV is always tuned to news and the contents of his refrigerator say it all. You have to have a vegetable. <laughs> uh, that's Jan Carl from Entertainment Tonight. Yep. You're rating your own feature. Yeah, right? That was fun. E.T. came over and they... They hung out in the morning before work and rode the train with me to work and hung around work all day. They were very cool. You're so cool. It was fun. I bet it was. They were very nice to me. There's Jay Wallace, the there king of television. Then there's Kim Rosenberg, producer. producer of this program. Uh, how did you feel about being called the bad boy of TV news? I, I didn't see it. I was at the Correspondence Center. Oh, and there's the staff. So you're too big to even watch your own profiles on Entertainment Tonight because you're at the White House. You know, I'm sorry. The I'm great, sorry. The greatest publicist wow. in the world, Irina Stefan. Oh, there's, there's Madronica, the makeup lady. Uh, but she sent me a tape up, and I popped it in the VCR, and it broke. And I figured that was oh, a sign. No. I didn't need to see no, it No, it was great. It was great. They were, it was very complimentary. But at the same time, they called you the bad boy of TV news, and they also said you were the golden boy of Fox News. Really? Which we all know, because now he arrives in Skinnerville that was with his advanced staff these days. Guess who O'Reilly's <laughs> guest was? was last night at the correspondent. We went to the correspondence mm -hmm. dinner last night, which is why Jane filled in for me, and I greatly appreciate that. Ah, Thank you. You're welcome. O'Reilly's guest was the Donald. Oh, no way. Donald really? Trump. And I see him. He's late for our party, our pre-party. So I'm walking down the hall, and Donald Trump passes me, and he had, they had these escorts there to, like, escort people around. People like you. No, no, they do well. <laughs> so Donald Trump is coming down the hall, and I wanted to go, you're fired. Did you? No, I didn't do uh -oh. that. I figure he's heard that before. Couldn't you see he and O'Reilly saying it? Oh, that'd be great. I could, they sat together. I heard they hooped it up. Did they? Yeah. All right. No negative moments. Who was, it was your a guest? Fun like, Connie Rice guess. or somebody? I was there with a couple of senators and our boss, John Moody, and uh, a couple of other people. It was great fun. You're so cool. You're coming with see me next you year. Later. We got to have, we gotta oh, have we're Skinner next year. Bye. Bye. <laughs>